arrived in New Orleans and this is our bed and breakfast, private bathroom. I don't know where any of the lights are. And this is our room. See, your little stool to get up on the bed with. Five and a half hour drive from New Orleans. And then through here there's like a little bit of a sitting area and a piano for some reason. And then we've got a little fridge, uh, microwave, toaster, coffee machine drinking water and then out here we have if I can open it a little balcony to sit on overlooks the uh, magazine magazine street uh, and the houses below so this is the outside of the house our entrance side entrance is there and then there's the road bedroom room is just on the top there that's the balcony that we uh, can sit out and there's the name of it and this is magazine street that it's on Supposedly very good for bars, restaurants. We're not going to go into the old French Quarter tonight. I'm just going to probably mosey around Magazine Street, apparently. There's uh, plenty to do around here. I don't think we uh, do anything like this in the UK. I'm presuming that that house has been fumigated. Looks like a giant circus tent. Oh yeah, deadly poison there. Keep away. <laughs> down to a local store, don't really know what for, just gonna get some drinks and things and then uh, we'll make a plan from there. Just about, about a 10 minute walk from our B&B from Le Brew supermarket or something.
This lot seems to be enjoying the game. We're sitting here enjoying our beers. Morning. Had a good night's sleep in uh, our B and B. Uh, we scoped some coffee shop down here uh, yesterday, so we're going to go get coffee and oh, maybe a beignet. Yeah. That's a beignet. Apparently it's like a donut thing. We shall see. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Like a donut. A big empty hollow inside. It's very light though. This is Lafayette Cemetery number one, above above ground cemetery, closed to the public at the minute though. I think it's been closed for quite a while, no one knows why. Get the state of this pavement. <laughs> And you thought Mia was bad. <laughs> this is the Benjamin Button house from the film. John Goodman's house. Anne Rice's house, she wrote Interview with the Vampire. The Witch's Coven House from American Horror Story. I can't remember what season it was, but it was a good season. Three season, season three apparently. The St. Charles streetcar line is the oldest continuously operating streetcar line in the world and has been in operation since 1835. famous Bourbon Street where all the action happens at the night time.
lunchtime. What you have Gumbo. So this is gumbo. I've got a chicken and sausage one. And she's got... Seafood. Seafood one. Look at that bit of crab. So that was the gumbo shop. Did you film the food? Yeah, I did it. Yeah. There we go. Just I'm had... normally too eager to eat it to film it. We just had lunch in the gumbo shop. We actually had gumbo. Oh, I didn't film the massive people part. <laughs> I finished it off. I just couldn't finish it off too much for it. Um, we're going to mosey back to the apartment. And then we've got a ghost tour tonight and a swamp tour tomorrow. this morning. I don't know but the hot. <laughs> they were a lot lighter than this morning to the crispy. There we go then. Better than Yeah better yeah. than yeah. So Cafe Du Mon. All they do is coffee and these beignets, that's it. Normally there's a queue out the door apparently, but it's really quiet in the city, so... Yeah, let's back up a little bit. When we first founded this place, the guy that cleared the land was given this prime piece of real estate right here. The cottage was built there. Now, unfortunately, we have to get into some of our darker history, but you don't know it. Um, and we can't talk about this place in any way, shape, or form without addressing it. We did uh, involve ourselves in the terrible institution of enslavement. Yeah. Um, and 3,000 people, enslaved people, were brought here against the will to dig those canals we talked about that kept us safe at that time. They're associated with residual energy, people that haven't moved on because they have unfinished business. But every now and then, people will get a floating head back there with a big mustache and kind of a shadowy, boxy hat on the side of his head. Some of the other people write, uh, there have been thousands of stories about this one. Some of them historically founded, some of them just fantastically thrown out because everybody won't believe them. And when you hear what she really did, you'll know why they're willing to believe them because what she did in real life is so much worse than anything that um, that they could exaggerate. Those stories have been. Madam, 
Delphine Lullery began as a young girl named uh, Delphine McCarty on the plantation on the other side of the Marini Plantation. The McCarty Plantation is now known as the Bywater, a really cool bohemian section of New Orleans. You might want to make your way over there if you have enough time. Um, she is known even at the age of a seven, watch your back, she always traffic comes this way, um, for abusing the enslaved and indentured people on that plantation. Uh, you've heard the term slave quarters, right? We didn't have that here, we're a port city, but it was all. So that was the ghost tour we've just done. It was uh, interesting. I wouldn't say so much creepy, but some of the stories were quite good. And now he's going to wander up to Frenchman Street. Apparently he's got loads of jazz bars and stuff on, so we're not having a late night because we've got a swamp tour tomorrow. Let's go have a look at Frenchman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Saints play. politically correct alligator <laughs> We used to use white marshmallows and hot dogs. Yeah. And Florida, they loved both of those. And the people from the group called Peter complained about them. Oh. Yes. But now we have these biscuits made for reptiles. Okay. You can throw one of these biscuits 30 feet behind them and they'll turn and go straight to it on a cold day. They have little vibration sensors on their lips. Also, see that they have a transparent eyelid that goes sideways in the eye called the tick. Yeah. Oh, the pink. Yeah, the pink. That's the snail eggs. That big, they're cute. Let's say they're that big, they can turn for themselves pretty much. No, not four feet. These are our little family that lives back here. Oh. raccoons here in Louisiana. Ours are a lot smaller than most places. People from the west coast and the mid Midwest tell me that there's a 30, 35 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs>
last night in New Orleans. So we're gonna go find something nice to eat and have a few drinks. Down Magazine Street tonight. We've come to the Rum House. A little bit of a wait is busy, so hopefully that means it's good. Okay, so I ordered the nachos. Thought they were big. <laughs> Look at that. That's a lot of nachos. That looks nice. Tacos. Beef and blackened fish. Big potato fries and black beans and chorizo. Very good. We're going to enjoy this now and catch you tomorrow. We're going to a plantation and then up to Natchez for one night.